Welcome everyone to Manor Lords, and this is a beautiful medieval game in which you can build stuff like this, this, or this. But this one is special, because this is a game I've been waiting for so long, I've been following the development so, so long, um, because it combines so many aspects of a great building game, and also survival game, and also combat game. So if you guys are in for a very, very big treat, Stick with me through the video. I'm going to explain to you how the game is set up, what you can expect from the game, and this demo is available to everyone right now for one week on Steam. There's like a special thing going on to play the demo. In the demo, you can only build a city, but that's great because we all know that, you know, as soon as it's coming to combat, I might have some issues. So, let's do it. Alright, so we don't have that many options as it is a demo and I'm gonna go rather quickly through this process now. We could spend hours on this as we all know, but uh, today I'm going to focus this video on building the city and showing you the building system because it's very special. Um, I think it is amongst the best if not the most promising building game out there, especially in medieval setting if you want. Now, first of all, our name is going to be changed uh, to Sir... No, 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 so a Camelot, obviously. We're gonna use uh, this guy over here, it's kind of sneaky, you know, whatnot. Um, primary color is gonna be... Do we have like a camel color? On the most camel color we have this one. Uh, hello? Primary color, sorry, that is that one. Secondary color, can we just... I don't know where that is. Secondary color, two is... Oh, that's the yellow thing. I wanna go full on camel color, there you go. And uh, the icon, I, was, I, I believe we don't have a camel in here, do we? I need a camel. Can we can we just have a camel? You know, we're gonna have a shovel because we are good at digging dirt. That's fine. Um, you know, we can change so many things. We can do this and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go through all of this now because that will take ages if I do this correctly. Uh, I will not, you know. We're gonna continue right over here. So, starting supply, standard balance, balance. I'm not going to change anything because that's the demo we play and we could do stuff, but we are not going to do this right now. So, let's begin and have a look what's gonna await us. All right, so this is, you know, uh, one of the most expecting starting points ever. Um, and there's a new message plopping up here. But before we do anything, you know, let's have a real quick look at the interface because uh, the interface is something very important in a building game, right? Um, but there is not too much special going on over here simply because we all love and play simulation building games all the time. You can see there is most of the stuff we need on top of our screen. There is a um, supply resources uh, showcase thing over here. You can see how many resources we have um same goes over here this is this on the right hand side is like the materials on the left hand side is kind of the other types of resources so for example working resources assigned families total population approval uh, public order and blah 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 so all these things you will need to upgrade in order you know uh, to have more um, focus and also support from your locals and speaking of locals oh my god i just completely moved around like crazy where are we oh my god i'm so Confused. Where's my little... Where's my home? Where's my home? I just moved around too quickly. Now, what I wanted to show you is the level of detail you can go in. It is almost looking like an RPG from, I don't know, the late 2010s even. It is looking so phenomenal. And finally, a game that, you know, gives us the chance to enjoy some brilliant graphics right away uh, it is looking phenomenal and I will show you the level of detail in terms of building in a second because uh, the Conrad over here is a thing we will need you know there's going to be a lot of processes that we need to follow but before we do so let's hit a new message over here and you can see this is what we need to do I'm not gonna read it all out but you can see we need to construct a granary a logging camp a forager hut and a storehouse obviously the normal stuff so before we do so um, down here we've got the menu to add roads and there is a little tutorial popping up every time you click something the first time and these tutorials are insane um, it might also be the best road building I've ever seen in a game like that. It's almost like City Skylines vibe going on here. So really cool. You've got some nodes and these nodes connect together and you can obviously also change how round it should be. Insane. Then we have the building construction menu over here. You can see there's the logging camp, the woodcutter lodge, the forester hut, the hunting camp and the forager hut. So first of all, 
we have to check where we will find some stuff. So if we go into the forager hut, you can see um, we could build that everywhere. There are some houses, but we need to see where are the resources. You know, this is basically the first and most important thing because what should they, what should they do? What should they uh, forage before doing so? But you can also see down here we can uh, hold down and place is that. You know, this is very insane, very easy, very easy to go. But first of all, we have to find out where our stuff is. Where we need to forage. Show you the um, overview of some resources. As you can see down here, there are some berries. There is some wild animals. And uh, if we go further over here, you can see there's an iron deposit. There's uh, some more uh, wild animals. And are we having more berries in this region? I think we don't. So this is giving us a good chance to see that we put the, um, uh, the forager hut is going to be down here because obviously this is where we need those people. Now I wanna bring this all the way to the forest over here and put this down. The same thing is going to happen to the logging camp because the logging camp uh, is obviously needing some, uh, you know, as you can, uh, oops, uh, as you can guess, it will definitely need some trees. So we're going to put this uh, down here. The node, uh, connecting node is over there. So I'm just going to rotate that a little very close to this area because I want to save some time. I'm wondering though, if I wanna, Ah, you know what, I'm just gonna place it down here. So we've built the logging camp and the forager hut. Let's now focus on the storage house. This is the next thing, let's zoom in a little bit, by the way. Um, so this is the storehouse. The storehouse should be in the uh, center location of where we're building. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the houses where the people live somewhere in here. So this is why I'm putting the storage right over, I think right over here. That should be a good spot to put down. There you go. And we also need a granary, which is going to be this one. And I'm gonna put the granary right over in this spot. Or maybe we are actually going to put this here. Why not? Let's put this right over there. Awesome. And then you have this one over here. This is the hitching post and used to control oxen. Oxen help logistic by transporting construct timber can help with moving harvests, crops and granary quicker. Now this is why we're gonna put this thing R limit reach. Oh, we have it already in. Oh, this is very unfortunate. Okay, now what we need to do is we're gonna put down some roads over here And as I said, it's very simple by snapping these things around and by holding down control You can change the curvature so you can make that very much straight as I do this right now Or you can make that like super curvy, but we are going to have it almost like perfectly straight So I'm gonna do this like here and then I'm gonna connect all these roads I'm just gonna drag it all the way down to have some straight roads there you go. I just want to pop this down. Do I have to plop another one and then just... Can I just... Okay. Do I have to put play to see this build? I don't know. Okay. Road. Can I just plop it down now? Um... Oh, I have to double click. Okay. So this is why. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this right like this now. Things are connecting rather nicely anyway. So I'm just going to do this over here. Uh, they look so organic, don't they? I really do love it. Uh, double click here and now I'm just gonna drag it all the way out here not not that far let's go here there you go and the other one goes here and uh, it's still like a quick okay on R this is roads makes a lot of sense don't it doesn't it so that's interesting and I'm gonna connect this here as well and isn't that connected oh no it seems all connected awesome okay so things are starting and as you can see the wonderful Conrad, the oxen, is bringing it over here now. It's gonna bring the things over. It is really ridiculous how the level of detail makes this game, also the atmosphere, so incredible. But yeah, now as this is going to be built, and you can obviously change the priority, we are going to change the priority to, wait, buildings with highest priority are built before others. Okay, so priority is zero over here. Or can I, okay, well, this is gonna be the first and most important one. And then this thing is going to be the second one. Awesome. And then is this one, this can be second. And this can be second too. I'm, I'm not sure if the construction priority, the higher the better or the lower the better. I'm not sure, but normally they should all be building this one now. Whatever, they need to build everything anyways, but okay. So we have done this, but while they are building, we can already think ahead because as you can see, um, we will need food and houses and all these kind of things are needed as well. And maybe I'm gonna build the first houses here, by the way, before I'm going to go all over. I want to delete this piece of wood. So this is gonna be chopped down, hopefully. But first of all, let's add a little road map over here so that we do know 
where to put our stuff. Um, this is going to be like where I want to have the houses. Oh, I can actually do this like so, which is great. Let me just bring in this first quarter over here. Um, I think what I might like quite a bit is this. And then can I just... Oh, wait, I have to put a note down. And then we can make that nicely rounded, right? Look at that. This is cool. So we can actually map this out rather nicely. Um, and then we're going to put like a road in the middle. Just like this. And then we have like there can be some houses in, I guess. Just making sure that this is all nice. And this is all connected to the main road. Which I'm going to do like so. And then just reduce the curvature a little. Oh, this is so cool. My god, I could build roads all the time. Okay, we've done that. Uh, I want to speed up the process a little. Not too much because I have no idea how quick they are right now. So mining, we can't build this right now. Used uh, to extract iron ore from... Can we build this already? But the iron ore deposit is somewhere over here. Not enough resources. Okay. Oh, we don't have any lock left. Okay, this is this is unfortunate. So this is the uh, burgage plot. And the cool bit is, as you can see, look at how b houses are built. That is so organic and I love it. So I'm just going to quickly show it to you. Um, this is how you just drag it. But we don't have the resources now. Okay, it seems like we need the resources first. But I'm just going to show you real quick how easy you can build this. Now, this is obviously a lot that can't work. But as soon as I put it over... There would be a house applying over here, or like just, you know, this would work, but we don't have the constructions right now. Also, you will find some little edges and little uh, naming errors every now and then, but don't you worry about this. This is a better a demo, you know, so don't worry. As you can see, also, once we hit building, you can see we can check by fatality, like that. And you can find underground water. And you can see there is like a ditch going all the way along our little city over here, which is great. Oh, I think it's a perfect idea to put it down here. Because that's perfect to put a well down here. There might be another one and we can put another one here. Gosh, I love it so much that you can, can do this. Okay, shall we put down a well already? Can we? Not enough resources. Okay, we do have to make sure that our people... Uh, continue, please. Uh, our people build our freaking thing first. Okay, it seems like this is the pri okay, priority, the higher the better. Okay. Yeah, well, that was my mistake then. This one is already done. Construction priority. Uh, let's put it on zero. And that one is built too, right? Oh, gosh. I hate my life. Okay, I thought it was the other way around. This looks so weird with the, all the paths. I think we have to delete it at some point. Okay, let's move forward and let people build our logging station because otherwise we can't move forward. Build it. And you can see we got a new message, which obviously gives us the next task. As you can see, I need to build a well and a burgage plot as well. So that was obviously very, um, very much uh, the target we needed to reach anyways. And as you can see, they are chopping down the trees right over here. And not just somehow. No, they are chopping it obviously completely correct. And now, look at what's happening next. I just I love it so much. They are chopping off as well the kind of branches you know so that they only have the trunk left and then they have to carry that back just like speed forward a little bit and then you can see how how this is done it is so insane like i the level of detail is absolutely ridiculous it, he needs to just move all the way uh, over here you know getting rid of the leaves and stuff and then there you go there you go oh my god um so yeah and then obviously the oxen is coming over and uh, bringing the lock into the space like i mean how insane is that guys how insane now it's bringing that thing over and now he's preparing that one and bringing this to the lockyard that is long one lock you can imagine how much time that will take so this is why we're going to put two workers in here and we're going to bring one worker into the forage hut obviously and then you can obviously also set the work area and since this is where all the berries are we're going to put the work area right over there uh, which makes sense you know now we have got two locks already there what we should do next is put down the well now as you can tell over here we don't have water so we do need water in place and i love the fact that we can build this right over here simply because that's just at this corner and i think everyone can reach it rather nicely they bring this over oh gosh guys this is so good <laughs> i can't tell you how good this is my goodness me like, they're even building this now, step by step, building the will well. Oh boy. And then they're just having a little talk over here, how nice they built that. It is just pure awesomeness. 
oh, this game, this game makes me makes me want to play all night. And maybe if I get it done, I'm going to have an episode uh, every day this week. M might be a little chance to get the channel really to grips this week uh, with this. But there's a lot to do. As you can see, the construction costs are two for each plot. So we can start doing plot right now. Um, let's start in this corner, shall we? So let's put this one down. Okay, isn't that enough? That's not enough space. Okay, well then let's go around that corner. Maybe a little further, and like this, there's one building fitting in. Okay, awesome, build it. And now, let's see if I can... Okay, that's not enough space. That is unfortunate. Okay, can I... This is one space? Why is this not working? Uh, borders place, housing plot. Okay, I'm not sure why this doesn't work, but you know what? Just Let's see what happens if I go all the way around. Oh, that makes two houses already. Oh, that's easy. Okay, so that is awesome. Um, and can I change, like I click now and then I can rotate these. Ah, okay, so that's how it works. Awesome, so that means I can just plot the whole area, right? I can just like, okay, I don't have the resources for that now, but this is obviously the way to go. This is the way to go. So we're just waiting for four locks now. And uh, oh, like four more locks, I guess, but that's how we should do it, right? Um, no, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay, I genuinely love this game by now <laughs> it is absolutely amazing uh let's just wait for that real quick and then let's go on let's go on i'm just gonna hit the normal play time because i wanted to show you one more thing but first of all let's plop out the houses as we have seen how easy that worked and just like so click it and then we rotate that again with all the houses and click yeah there you go everything is built as you can see two two people already joined so we have more families now in the city which is kind of cool um because they are helping us to have more food obviously as well so let's hit one maybe even two more workers uh, no, let's get one red. That's better. Okay, so this is done. Homeless families are uh, there, but now they will be able, hopefully, to move in, as you can tell. What we will do now, and while they are keeping on the time, I'm not going to, uh, you know, speed up too much, because as you can see, down here, there's a time limit going down. And as soon as this is done, um, you, you know, there is, like, the chance to fulfill these goals during that time. We have seasons. We have got, later on in the game, there's combat and stuff, so you don't have eternal time to set up your village you can obviously play in peace mode if you want and then everything is good but um, for the moment being that's what we do but in the future you have to really focus on making it good now one thing that's really cool by the way is uh, once you have uh, mapped out the plots you obviously have already dedicated the timber to it so as soon as people claim the land they can immediately start bu uh, building which is great and you get new people right away um, this is a system I really do love because um, otherwise with like waiting for people to immigrate and stuff it always felt kind of meh you know um, a little bit I don't know, it's just like the game would then just wait for itself for no reason. And I'm a big fan of this, that the game is a bit more straightforward, leaving it as, to us in a way, you know, that it works. Um, one more thing that you might have uh, noticed as well is how the the pathway is getting wider the more it becomes used um, and the more buildings has it next to it, which is also pretty realistic. And I love, the, it's just the graphics are... We don't need to... It's, I, I have no words for it. It's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Anyhow, we need to speed up because um, they need to build the plots. And once they have built the plots, we can do more buildings. But I can already fast forward and we can go already into farming. Now, we do need to build a farm, obviously. But in order to see so, we need to see where is some fertility going on. Um, unfortunately, I built <laughs> my areas right over here where there is a great fertility. That is... Uh, well... That's the, that's that. Um, rye is very good everywhere, so we can actually put down like a farm, <sighs> maybe in that area down here. So why not? Let's plop it down. Not enough space, not enough resources. Um, okay, uprooted tree seven. And that's also kind of a system where you can see that the, you know the trees are uprooted. Uh, we need to we need to wait until uh, this is done. Look, also by the way, we fulfilled the time. Uh, the, the target so we have a new message to look at um, and there's like so much more to do like a cheap farm and a field 
I'm not sure what we do next, but let's see what the game wants us to do. All right, so construct a burgish plot level two, okay. Um, a food stall, a firewood stall, and a clothing stall. Okay, well, if we should do that, uh, we need to focus on these buildings first. Okay, let's speed up the thing a little bit again. We've got July, so weather for the winter should be kind of okay. Um, but in order to upgrade the houses, as you can see over here, we need to have some minimum level uh, to upgrade that. And I guess this is the requirements. They need food, clothing, entertainment, and faith. Well, it's not too good in here. Um, anyways, let's build. And I'm not sure where to build that, to be honest. So we have got the woodcutter lodge. Okay, maybe we need that later. Forester hut is not uh, too important right now because we don't have too much. We should put down hunter camp, by the way, because of our lack of food right now. So this is quite far away. Mm, I'm going to put this down here because we need food. And so I'm going to put this down there. Now, we have got some mining. We don't need this quite yet. Um... Can we have one more, by the way? Are we allowed now? Limit reached? Okay, I'm not sure when we will be able to have more, but anyways. So this is a firewood stall, this is a food stall, and this is a clothing. Okay, we need a market. Um, where do we put this, though? We need more wood as well. I want to put the market right here in the middle, because as I said, I want to have more buildings over here. Um, let's already put some streets down. Because that's where the market will be. I want to make this a little bit roundish, actually. Let's just have a, like a roundish shape. And then there's the market in the middle. Why not? I mean, this we, we can do it, so that's fine. Uh, we should have one more person working over here. And how about this? Okay, how's food doing anyways? Okay, food is fine. Like, it's getting more... Um, number of months before food supplies run out. Oh, this is actually like the same we had in the last game we played, which is really cool. Um, food for two months, fuel for five months. Um, let's have one more person working over here. And as soon as the building is built, we should go further. Okay, now this is a waiting game now for logs, and I think you guys shouldn't do that, but I should do this. So now, let's do this. We are back, and now we have got quite a lot of wood uh, available for us, and I'm gonna build a tavern first. Uh, we definitely will need the tavern later, but I'm not gonna build this, sorry. Uh, that was my mistake. But we need to settle a market area first, and this is gonna be over here build this one and now we can put these stalls in which uh, I'm a big fan of so you can see this is the area in which they face so we're gonna face this one here and the other one is going to be faced there as well and then there is the next one is going to be put here look at that they are going to work this out now for us which is beautiful um, but we should build a church because that's something the people wanted from us quite a while now um, I'm not sure where to put it though this is quite far away from the rest of the people, but I didn't want to put this down. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna pl plop this down here. Why not? Let's build the church right over there. The trees are gone. We don't have the trees, which is unfortunate, but um, yeah, you can see p trees are rooted over here, but there is like so much wood left for us, which should be fine. Um, so the hunter, by the way, is the hunter, they can go there or there, but I'm just gonna say here for some deer. Um, and you can also put, like, how many animals you want to have left hunting limit. When population of a herd drops to this number, workers will stop hunting. So you can go to 15, or you can actually go to zero, maybe, and then, you know, animals are gone, so they can't repopulate as quickly. Um, so no idea how many deers are living over here, if they even go and hunt for them, but, you know, this is done. Now, you've got to build all of these things. We have built this, like, the market stalls are there, but I'm not sure if anyone is working there. Can I have to generic, connect it to a road, empty? So I guess they need some supplies first, right? Because without supplies, how would they be able to fill that? So we've got food, you know, I'm not sure if, like, how this exactly works, but let's have a look. Um, try building hunting camp if you have wild animals in the region, or a fodder hut if you have a buried deposit. Yeah, well, we did this already. We did this. Now, can we upgrade these people? Construct attention, uh, extension, vegetable garden. Yeah, why not? Oh, is this now level two already? I don't know. But you get a, you get a, what do you get? Uh, doesn't provide yields in winter. Okay, upgrade to level two. Doesn't work. Okay, how do I, how do I get this done? Okay, well, can I upgrade all of these? Chicken crop. Okay, I can't. I can't do this. General people. Okay, can I do anything with you? No. Okay, because when they have a yard, they seem to be able to do something. Now winter is coming. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure if we survive it. We'll see. We'll see. We have some fuel and we've got some full, uh, food, but not too much, to be honest. Um, hopefully this helped by putting down the wild animals. 40, okay. 
let's have some people working over here because obviously that makes sense you know to get some food do i have to click here and have people working oh yeah see now i can have workers over here um i guess the only chance we have to go on is have more buildings right so we should plop out the next area four buildings awesome do it do it for us and i think the church is done which is good um i think what we should do as well is just connect this wonderful lovely area here as well booms build this and then we're gonna plot this out as well we can never have too many buildings can we boom uh rotate build awesome so there's quite a lot of buildings coming in now um and hopefully enough workers so we will have another hunter um going in here another hunting camp which is gonna go here it's gonna have the priority higher so that they build this rather first family joins that's good so the more families join the better because we need workforce I and mean, we need workforce otherwise we won't get these things done um rain and winter is certainly not helping but we are seeing if we can make it work somehow. Some resources die out and we're gonna grow back again in spring. I know, and this is my issue over here. <laughs> this is my issue, see. But the thing is, we are starting to get some meat, which is great. Um, so I need someone to work over here now. And I'm gonna set the work area right into this. Okay, so um, does this tell me how many wild animals? 39, okay. So that's good, so we have something to hunt. Awesome. Now obviously, timber, Food, fuel. Oof! This is this is gonna be this is gonna be very tight. I really hope that this second uh, camp is gonna help us quite a bit. Look at the snow. Let me just. Uh, we need to slow down a little. Oh boy, it looks so good. Is there a way also to to hide the hut somehow? G, H. Okay, H is that. J. B, G, no, that's that. <laughs> I have no idea. I have to find out how I can maybe region map settings. Uh, there certainly should be uh, a way to, what's that, visit mode? Oh my lord. Is this, are you really kidding me? Am I visiting my own village right now? I am, right? Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> I, I didn't know that this works. Look at that. There's the oxen. Uh, okay. Well, well, that is ridiculous. Um, okay, so can I help building, by the way? Hello. Look at the level of detail, guys. I cannot believe it. It's, I really, I did not know that this is possible. Can I also go through this? Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah, just... I'm just blocking in here. Oh, wait. Can I... How are you living? Can I, can I see? Oh, that's a beautiful building, mate. And it's so big. I love it. <laughs> okay, never mind. This is ridiculous. And how am I going to go out? Escape? Yeah, okay, boy, this is ridiculous. This is so good. Okay, um, you can maybe tell from my excitement level how happy I am about this. Now, I'm not sure if we will get level 2 done in this video, by the way. But as a first look, this is more than enough, I guess, for you to understand how insane that game is. And now it is really up to you guys to drop some comments down below if you want to see more of this on the channel. I certainly want to play it a lot more. Gosh, all these buildings game in the, in the last couple of minutes is really... <laughs> it's a good year for, for simulation and city builder people like I am. Um, now, is there anything else we can build? I think we need to prepare already for farming maybe so for us we don't need this hunting camp we've done that we've done all of this so let's go into farming so we definitely need to build a farm but we can't because we don't have the tools to do so that means we need tools uh, and can we have industry so we have a tool construction it uses iron slabs okay so that means we need to build an iron deposit first right like an iron kind of mining pit let's put this down here can we have two is there like okay well i think it's only one possible i guess and then we also need to build a smithy a bloomery converts iron ore into iron oh my god okay so we have to put this one next to it and then we've got to put that one here as well great and how about i think what we will also need otherwise i won't be able to have enough stuff is another logging camp which i'm gonna put just over here. Um, let's raise all the priorities over here. Let's put them all up. 
as well as that one. I think we need all of that to produce tools, otherwise we are screwed, okay? Um, let's have a look if I did connect everything. This is all connected. I think it's kind of hard to see in winter, not gonna lie over here. This is uh, somewhat weird. Okay, so this is all connected. I'm not sure, can I also use the connection between those? Or do I have to build like a connection around here? I mean, I'm just going to do that right anyways, but okay. Are there some stones in the ground? How do you pass by here? Is it all frozen? Oh gosh. Look at the graphics, guys. It is really, really something absolutely amazing. Okay, let's move over a little bit into the springtime again, shall we? And then let's see if things I set up did work. Screw that idea with the uh, summer because people are dying away. We don't have enough uh, timber, so I have to see that I survived that for the next episode. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this first look of Manor Lords. I am absolutely uh, stoked. I'm, I'm just completely into this game this is really this looks it doesn't only look phenomenal I think it plays phenomenal it is absolutely a game that I will enjoy quite a lot and I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode as well again as I said drop some comments down below if you like it and uh, well I hope you guys had a good time talk to you in the next one and goodbye